at one point we were all in huddled uh, this I know a room full of, of, of guys uh, mostly white I think maybe one or two uh, black guys in it uh, yeah but most of the white guys we were all in our as we would say in the Marines in our skivvies <laughs> and standing around and and uh, after a while someone called my name Joseph Smith and I looked around uh, will you follow me please I followed him it was a Marine I don't know I don't remember now whether he was a corporal or a sergeant or his dress blue uniform. So he said, uh, I've called you out because uh, uh, you're, you're, you're very special already. I didn't know about recruiting and <laughs> they did that because I was called out from the midst, I said, yes. Um, oh, would you like to be a Marine? So I don't know much about the Marines, except that it's part of the Navy, and I don't want any part of the Navy because all I could do there would be a cook. I said, I already know how to do that, and so I'd rather go someplace where I can learn something else, like drive a truck, for example. <laughs> I said, I don't know how to drive a truck. I said, so that would be some advancement. I said, but cook, no thank. He said, well, no, the Marines are a part of the Navy, but... Uh, uh, they, they give you the same training that they give all the others. There's no difference. You go to boot camp, and you learn to train, and you, you be, become a, 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 I need to say a fighter or a warrior or something. Uh, he said, no, it's, it's all the same. So I got on the train with the rest of my new buddies. And there were just a few men on the train, white men, reading newspapers and glaring at me. Uncomfortable, but I ignored it. And we just talked together, anticipating what we were going to get into in uh, our uh, marine induction. the camp. Well, we went on and on and on until I heard uh, uh, the conductor say, I think it was Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Now, I had papers which said I was supposed to transfer at Rocky Mount, but I didn't know. I thought they had papers too, which <laughs> said Rocky Mount. I said, well, here's where we get off. And I started getting ready. I said, no, 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 we, we're, we're going to, uh, we don't get off here. I said, well, I'm supposed to get off here. Said, How is that? And he took my papers. He said, I don't understand this. I said, I don't either. He said, we're going to Paris Island. I said, I don't know anything about Paris Island. Mm -hmm. He said, but that's where we're going. That's where the Marine Corps camp is, boot camp. And the other guy said, yes, they, all, they were going to Paris Island. I said, well, I'm supposed to get off here. We were all in a quandary. You know, it's what was going on. And it still hadn't struck me because he said it was going to, the, the recruiter said I was going to receive the same training. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be in the same camp. Mm -hmm. So I took leave of my uh, fellow enlistees and got off the train, began to feel lonely again, isolated. So I got off the train and just walked back and forth right where I got off, back and forth, back and forth and I saw no people in this in the station mm -hmm. 
I was fine. Okay. Well, there weren't many people who were on the train anyway, so I thought this was just an isolated station. Not like South Station in Boston, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. a million people is a small place. And so I waited and waited, and after a while, the train came. And lots of coaches, some were actually empty, just one or two people and others. And so I started hurrying to, to get on board and the conductor, where are you going? And I said, I'm going to, I think it was Jacksonville. That's where, uh, that was the next stop. Jacksonville. He said, I mean, you, you can't sit up here. You have to go down there. You see those people there? You follow them. And I looked down there, and there looked to me like hundreds of black people who were apparently in the back of the station because I hadn't seen anybody at the time, and I hadn't gone to the back. I just mm -hmm. walked back and forth along the track. They were streaming uh, out to the train, and they were all going to one coach. And I said, I said they can't all get in that coach. <laughs> to me, you you go if you if you if you're going to ride in this, that's where you go. Oh boy. So I went on down, <laughs> followed them, and it was the most wretched experiences. There were women with babies and bundles and boxes, and uh, it was and it was in August, mm. hot. North Carolina is hot, hot, hot in, in August, and we got in there crammed in as. You can't imagine how it was inhuman. Mm 